If you're in chronic pain or you know somebody that's in chronic pain, family or friends, this is an episode you are just not going to want to miss, especially if recommendations of spinal decompression, laser therapy, or even where they go in and burn the nerve in the low back so you can't feel the pain, which is ridiculous, you're going to want to listen to this episode. Hi, I'm Dr. Ted Arkfeld, and I created the Defeating Pain podcast because you got to know, you got to know that there are options for you. So I had a patient in yesterday and I'd been treating her for a post-concussion syndrome. That means that she had had lingering concussion symptoms for over three months. She was referred by another chiropractor here in town. And so for about two and a half months, I have been treating her for post-concussion symptoms. She's in her mid seventies and it had freak concussions and a lot of traumas throughout her early years. Yesterday was supposed to be a happy day. It was supposed to be a graduation day where she was being released from active care. However, she came in and I could tell right away something was wrong. And she proceeded to tell me that her low back has gotten worse. Now she did tell me that she had been under the care of another chiropractor, pain management specialist, for a disc herniation when she initially presented to my office. But the referral was for the concussion symptom, so I just stayed in my lane. I did not evaluate or do anything with the low back. So yesterday, she's telling me that she had epidurals and it didn't work. She had facet joint injections and that didn't work and that she was scheduled to have a nerve ablation, but they're not going to do it because the facet joint injections didn't pro provide any relief. Makes sense, right? So she was frustrated and she was in to see a lady she's been seeing for about a year, integrative healthcare practitioner who does all her nutritional supplements. And she said that she did some kind of full body evaluation and said, yep, the pain's coming from your disc and that we're going to bump up the nutritional supplementation. We're going to increase the dosage of a supplement called Disczyme. And I want you to see our doctors here and undergo spinal decompression and laser therapy. And she hands me this brochure and, and she goes, Dr. Arkfeld, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I have no other alternative. I have no hope. I just, I can't live like this. I sat back and I, I said, no, no, you do have other options. And I proceeded to tell her that first of all, that she's been in pain for well over a year. The disc herniation, the actual injury, the thing that started under what we call a mechanism of trauma was well over a year ago. So just let me do a little classification. Stay with me on this, please. There's the pain is our body's warning system. And there's two types of pain. There's acute pain, which happens right after an injury. You sprain your ankle, that's acute pain. You know, you pick something up that's way too heavy and you hurt your low back, that's acute pain. There's gonna be characteristics of acute pain, inflammation, tenderness, uh, muscle spasm, muscle guarding, a significant decrease in ability to move. Well, every anatomical structure, your muscles, your bones, your ligaments, your tendons, they have a predictable amount of time for healing. You know this, if you've broken a arm or a bone, you know, six to eight weeks, right? If you strain a muscle, it's going to take about 12 weeks. Ligaments could take up to a year. It doesn't mean you're in pain all that time, but it just takes that long to totally repair. A disc, when you have a little fissure in the disc, that will self-seal with the scar tissue. It'll take about 90 days. So this patient had gone well beyond the normal healing parameters that we would associate with the, with the disc injury. That is chronic pain. When you have gone outside the normal healing time, now you've moved into chronic pain. And when you move into chronic pain, the pain source is not the structure that you injured. It's not the disc. It's not the joint. 
it's actually your brain protecting you. And it's a really simple concept that what happens is obviously when you're in pain, you don't want to move that part. You're scared to move that part. You go into what we call an abnormal movement pattern. And, and that's what this patient had done. So now I explained to her a concept called centralization, and that's where the pain resides. The brain is not getting information from her muscles in the low back, from the joints in her low back. She's not moving properly. And the brain lowers the threshold for pain. And that's what's causing it. And I told her, I said, these compressions not going to do it. Laser therapy is going to do it. And for sure, adding more disczyme is not going to do it. And she said, well, what do we have to do? I said, well, you're neurologically starved. Your low back is, is creating a bad cell coverage area, and it's not getting the information up to the brain. I said, we got to do that. I said, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to use our neuromuscular stimulation, our direct current stimulation therapy, and we're gonna fire up the muscles that run right along the spine. They're called the multifidus muscles in the low back. They are the most important muscles. Now, I know PTs like to do core muscles, and but that isn't gonna get it done, guys. The multifidus muscle is responsible for spine stability, and it also feeds up to a part of your brain that monitors balance movement and you know quality of movement. And we've got to get that muscle turned back on. The only way to do it is with direct current therapy and exercise, guided exercises. The next thing we have to do is a very gentle chiropractic technique called Cox flexion distraction. And that's where we're gonna separate just a real rhythmic, easy stretching movement of the lumbar vertebrae, the joints because we're gonna get those joints moving in a safe manner. And so you start doing that and then the brain goes, okay, this is safe. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna cause increased pain and increase the muscle spasms down there. It recognizes this is safe. And so what happens is now the brain starts getting the information it needs to let everything calm down. Another aspect that I need to share, and I again, I don't want to get too deep in the weeds with neurology here, but it's important. If you're in chronic pain or someone you know that's in chronic pain and they've gone through all this, it's because they've been looking at it from a mechanical or structural problem. I, I often call it an orthopedic problem. This is where after surgery or after a prolonged injury and it's just not getting better, it's why we get results at our clinic where others have failed because we're gonna look at things totally different. So there's a part of our brain, it's like right here and right here. And it's, it's, it's called the homunculus, a sensory homunculus. And don't worry about that name, but it has a map of our body. There's an actual map. So we have legs, hips, everything, all up here and up here. And when we fire up the receptors in our muscles and in our joints, that sends information up to the sensory homunculus. When there is no information getting up there, it gets blurred. It's like you can't look out the window because there's a blur, there's a haze. And when there's a haze on the homunculus, what's gonna happen is the brain lowers the threshold and that's gonna cause pain. It's just not gonna cause as much. And then people are going to associate movement with pain. And that's the last thing we need to have happen. So there is neurological rehabilitation therapy available. And we do it at Arkfeld Advanced Chiropractic. Even if you're not in Michigan, I'm in Gaylord, Michigan and in East Jordan, Michigan. I have two offices. Even if you're not anywhere near, do this. Call the clinic, 989-448. 8065. Tell Diane that, you know, wherever you're at and let's schedule a virtual consultation. I just want to talk to you because there is hope. There is things that can be done. You do not have to live this way. You do not have to pay thousands of dollars for therapies that are not going to work. So give us a call and then uh, we're going to continue on. I will let you know how this patient did in upcoming episodes because I know she's going to do very well and I know you can too. 
See you in the next episode of Defeating Pain. Subscribe, please. If you like, if you like what I'm saying, subscribe. But more important than subscribing, tell others about what I'm saying. That's the only way we're going to defeat pain together. Talk to you soon.